the necklace the necklace is a short story about matilda a middle class woman who longs for a wealthy life matilda borrows a diamond necklace and then she loses it and to replace that she undergoes a lot of hardship and this is the irony in the end which tells everyone that what we perceive and what we understand is not sometimes the same always this is about the writer henry rennie who is remembered for his short stories born on august 5 1850 and died in 1893 this story is about matilda who is invited to a grand party and she claims to have no dress and no jewelry and so borrows it from her friend who finally loses it but in the story we will find out what happened now let's understand the character sketch of uh, matilda uh, here in this story uh, matilda longs for her affluent uh, elite lifestyle and for that she is ready to go to any extent when she prepares to attend a fancy party she borrows a necklace from madam foster's and loses it and that changes the course of her life matilda's husband Monsieur Loison is a content and an opposite character compared to Matilda. He loves Matilda and therefore ready to do anything for Matilda. Matilda loses the necklace, but Monsieur sacrifices his whole life in repaying back the debt. Now let's understand the character sketch of Madame Frostier. Matilda's wealthy friend, Master Frostier. treats matilda kindly but matilda is bitterly jealous of madam frost's wealth and kindness and pains her she is horrified when she realizes that she she has lost her necklace and hence she tries to replace it let's understand the quick summary of this lesson the necklace is all about happiness and pain matilda is invited to a party and she goes to a party with a necklace borrowed from madam frostier while returning she loses her necklace borrowed from uh, madam frostier and to replace that she completely change her life she changes her living style she changes herself she changes her outlook she changes everything her world changes The main theme is full of irony. Matilda longs for joy and happiness through materialistic things, but in the end, these materialistic things pinches her that she completely changes her life. The ironic situation is the source of her joy and necklace becomes her downfall when she loses it. That is, a, the thing of joy for her finally becomes. her do she not only loses her middle class income status but falls into poverty and spends the better part of her life in suffering and pain this symbolizes that what we see can we try run after things does not fall into place very quickly the sequence of events as i said earlier matilda aspires to be wealthy her husband is given an invitation to a wealthy ministerial party but she refuses to go because she don't have good dresses and necklace to wear matilda is again frustrated by the lack of jewelry and she borrows it from madam frostier matilda has a wonderful time at the party and after that she discovers that she has lost her necklace after years of living in penury and debt the twin matilda's look matilda runs into madam frostier and tells the whole thing one day he comes home from his office with an invitation to a ministerial party but she is not very happy because she don't have too many dresses and jewelry to wear her husband tries to convince her and say and suggests her that 
wear something which she had worn and she had always looked beautiful in all her dresses. Her husband gives up when she is not ready to listen. Matilda is unimpressed. He then suggests that she go to her rich friend, Madame Frostier, and borrow some jewellery. Monsieur Loisel tries all her level best, and then finally he goes. His wife thinks it a good idea, and next day she goes to Madame Frostier and borrows a necklace. Matilda throws her arm around her friend happily for the treasure she had borrowed. At the ministerial party, Matilda appears to be the prettiest. When the party breaks up at four o'clock, Matilda wants to get away as fast as possible because she does not want the other women who all wear furs to notice her plain cloth coat. She runs out to the street hoping to find her cap. But the search takes her down to Sheen, where at last she and her husband find an old depleted Braham stationed along the embankment. Once home, she is very happy for what has happened, but was disappointed to find that her necklace was missing. He then advertises the lost piece of jewellery. To his disappointment, they could not find the lost piece anywhere. They decided to search for a replacement and to replace it, they had to go to different shops. Finally, they find it at the Palais Royal. The price with a 4,000 franc discount is 36,000 francs. Lois will pay for it with an elegant thousand francs inheritance that the husband has received from her father and by borrowing the rest in small amounts. The change of Loisel is the most important thing here. The Loisel are left with their debts. They get rid of their maid. They move to a poor apartment. The wife now has to do all the menial work herself. Wash the sheets, carry 